Barry and Sharon again. Billy. And Billy, of course. <laughs> when last we spoke, we were at Lake San Antonio, where we were all alone in a very remote campground, with the exception of a few hours on Saturday, when everybody came in to fish. There was nobody around us for miles, and probably 25, 30 miles to the nearest place we could buy ice. Or no, there was no anything. It was pretty remote. So we decided it might be nice to, on the way home, find a place to camp that was a little bit more cosmopolitan. We found a place called, what was it called? It was called Flying Flags. It was in Buellton, right outside of Solvang. Um, and it was wonderful. It's a new breed of campgrounds that have just family focused, but um, has so many offerings um, for you to enjoy. Um, you don't even have to have a rig or, or a tent or a trailer. You can have, they have all kinds of things you can rent, um, anywhere from little tiny houses to vintage uh, trailers. Um, so you could just go in and rent something like that um, and enjoy the splash zones and pools and uh, playgrounds. We, we went from being, you know, remote with absolutely nothing and um, not even a refrigerator that worked to having a, being in a facility that had a sausage truck a uh, pizza parlor, a wine a bar. Wine bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, this place had everything. It wasn't inexpensive, no. but um, probably worth the money. They gave us a nice long pull through site. And um, it was wonderful. It was Highly wonderful. recommend it. Highly recommend it. So uh, coming up, you're going to see us walk around and show you some of the highlights of the campground. And, um, and uh, solving. And solving. Solving is, is special to us. Um, we have history from uh, when we were first dating a long, long time ago back in Solving. So mm -hmm. that was some place that we were looking forward to, not to mention the um, the Danishes at Mortensen's, which are delicious. Mm -hmm. And then we also found our one of our favorite breweries up there, Figaro Mountain, that was right around the corner. So it was a wonderful trip. And um, like I say, you'll see pictures from all of that. So I hope you enjoy. All right. So enjoy. Bye. Down the, okay. If you look down the side, you'll see there's a walkway and then there's a picnic table in the back of the grass. It's really nice. A few minutes, they have a nice table. Bills, you're not making this video very enjoyable. Well, vacation isn't about enjoying yourself. Oh, no. no. Now, what happened to all these things here? Do you want to play a game? Meadow soccer, but you know who's going to win because there's only one goal. Yeah, it's true. I just want to see what's up here. Looks like it's a kitchen. This is up here. Up downtown. Peter Old Mountain IPA right there. Snack maybe, bar. Maybe at night time they open this up. Happy hour. I don't know. This is probably It is something. like the same artist that did the Hoppy Poppy. I wonder yeah. if the Figaro Mountain owns it. Damn it. We can go in there. Hmm? I think that's kind of creepy, an old guy going to a swimming pool with a camera.
Let's go see what that's about. Yeah. <laughs> 